Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be making a simple meme generator in JavaScript. So let's get started. All right, pretty simple, starting out HTML, just linking to the CSS file and JavaScript file. And the CSS, just setting the font, and nothing in the JavaScript. So let's uh, get the HTML out of the way. Start with a text area. And this is going to be for the top text text area. And one for the bottom text. And then a file input. And this is going to accept images like so and then a generate button I'll just do btn generate and then a canvas to draw the finished image on So that's going to be a canvas with the ID of meme can canvas. All right, there we go. Two text areas, a file picker, and the generate button. All right, in the JavaScript, let's see top top text input, bottom text input. Generate button. Oh, now that image input. Generate button, canvas, and context. And I have a function that generates a meme for us and an initialization function. Whoops, not square brackets. Alright, that's our basic setup. In here we're going to initialize our variables. Top text input to top text. Canvas and the context. And then we're going to set the canvas's width and height to zero so it effectively disappears because we're going to be resetting the width and height each time we generate a new meme and that's going to be based off of the width and height of the image that the user selects. So canvas.width, canvas.height, a, zero. Okay, and now for our click handler, that's going to be generate button dot add event listener. Here we are going to use the file reader API. So we'll say let reader equal new file reader. And that's going to read the file off of the user's computer. So reader.read as data URL. So it's going to be an image that we're going to draw on the canvas. Uh, that's going to be image input files zero. And then on load we are going to quickly make a new image and 
and the source of the image is going to be the data URL result of the reader. So reader result. And then we'll send that through to our generate meme function. Um, image. Okay. Now this is going to accept at least one image. Well, for now that's all it's going to accept as an image. And let's see, first we're going to um, set the canvas width and height to the image width and height. And then we'll clear the canvas. And draw the image. Um, at zero, zero. OK, so that should be drawing the image, I believe. So let's check out what we have here. The text boxes aren't going to work. It's just going to draw the image, hopefully. So I have a couple of these meme templates that I downloaded. And there we go. There's Mr. Success Kid. So compared to the form controls here, the image is a little big. So in the CSS, so we don't have to skew the JavaScript, we can just come over here and say, um, meme canvas width of 300 pixels and that should whoop, yeah that's right I have to select this again scale that properly and then it, it doesn't really affect the JavaScript too much so that stays out of our way alright next we have to draw the text so over here, I'm going to just add this to the generate meme uh, function here. So I'll say top text input dot value and bottom text input value. I'll be passed in there and then we'll say top text and bottom text. So we can come over here and set up the fonts and stuff so font equals I suppose we have to have a font size before that um, figure out how big we want to draw the the text For now I'm just gonna uh, whip up a variable say font size equals canvas width divided by 15 so then the context font is going to be font size plus pixels and then impact that's the font we're going to use if you don't have impact I'm sure you can find a comparable font otherwise it, it doesn't matter just a ton okay the fill style equals white and the stroke style is black because we're going to have like an outline around the text and the line width is going to be I don't know another fifteenth of the font size let's see how that turns out okay and now we're going to draw the top text just to you know get all the bugs worked out before we start drawing the bottom text so we'll say context dot fill text top text at x which is going to be canvas width divided by 2 y 0 max width canvas dot width okay so refresh uh, success kid, yeah, sure. SDF, and it's not showing up for a couple reasons. One is this value right here. That's the Y value. We're drawing it at zero, which text is drawn 
like zero is the baseline of the text. So it, our text is sitting right above the image. So we're gonna have to bring that down and we can either do that by setting a larger value here like font size because I don't know, that'll work probably. And so then you can see it. Or we can set the text baseline to top. And that makes the text be drawn from where the where zero now it's it, it'll still be sitting below. So if I refresh. And it's still sitting below because we changed the baseline to top. And then we can just use zero there, and it's easier to read. Of course, it's not centered, so we have to text align center. And now it's centered. And we can also draw, um, duplicate this, but that's stroke text. So then we'll get that nice outline. Yeah. OK. Now on to the bottom text. Text baseline is going to be bottom. And this value is going to be canvas.height. So, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. There, now it's being drawn properly. Okay, but sometimes memes are going to have like two lines of text here, but if we add, say, a new line here and generate, it just that interprets that as a space because drawing the text on canvas, it doesn't support multi lines. So we have to support that ourselves. And we're going to do that by splitting the text by new line so that f turns it into an array of each line and then draw each of those. So we'll say top text split by new lines. And for each of those, we'll run this function. And This is going to have text and index there. So fill text T and T. And this, instead of just being 0, it's going to be I, which starts out as 0, times uh, font size. So that will give us about the proper spacing. I times font size. And then a similar thing for the bottom text. So I'll just copy that. bottom text and this is going to be canvas height minus i times font size all right so now this should support multi lines so i'll say 1 2 3 4 but the problem is we have 1 2 Four, three. So this, the bottom one is being reversed because it's drawing this one and then it's moving up one and drawing this because i is increasing and we're subtract, subtracting there. So we can solve this by either changing what's right here or we can just come here and say reverse, reverse that array, which is easy. So I'll say one, two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. And it works. All right, now we're going to add text size sliders right here. And so we have to go into HTML, say text, text size. That's going to be input type 
of range, a minimum value of 0 0.05, because we're going to be multiplying this by the canvas width. So it's going to be a fraction of the canvas width. Max is 0 0.25, value 0 0.15, and step 0 0.01. And I suppose we should add an ID to this so we can figure out which is which. Top text size. And top text size. Actually, I'm going to say top text size input. And this is actually bottom. Haha. Uh -huh. Input. Now we can grab those here. Top text size input bottom text size input size input size all right so now those are properly initialized and Let's see, this line and these two lines are all relating to the font size. I'm going to declare font size up here because it'll be cleaner that way. So that has to do with font size. This is drawing the top text, this is drawing the bottom text. Draw top text. Draw bottom text. Okay. Uh, top text font size. And then we'll have the bottom text font size down here too. Bottom text font size. So we're going to pass in the um, top text size and bottom text size here. So it'll be top text size input dot value and bottom text size input value. So this right here is going to be replaced by top text size. And we'll copy this down to here. And that'll be bottom text size. Okay, refresh, okay, they're the same size, make that one smaller, that one bigger, and it works properly. I'm just going to make one more adjustment, this should probably be a little bit smaller. There we go, the outline isn't... I have to update this one too now. Now the outline isn't quite so you know, in your face, you know, it's a little, yeah, a little better. All right, there you go. That is how you make a simple meme generator in JavaScript. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob and have a good one.